This is flip class video number two. Last week we talked about this general computer model. A computer is taking input from, from all different kinds of sources, performing its processing, and then generating output. We also talk about computer can only read binary data. Binary data means one and zero. So computer can take all sort of information as input, including numbers, text, photos, voices, and videos. But all those information has to be converted into binary form, into one and zero, so that the computer can understand and do the processing. So in today's video, we are going to talk about how do you represent number in binary form so that they can be processed by computer. Let's consider this number, a decimal number, 237. This number is used to represent 237 items. We can arrange these 237 items into a way such that they are in the batches of 10. In this way, this 237 item is arranged in a way that it has 2, 100, 3, 10, and 7, 1, which is representing basically 237 items. It can be rewritten into a mathematical formula as 2 times 10 to the power of 2 plus 3 times 10 to the power of 1 plus 7 times 10 to the power of 0. Rearrange this item into batches of 10 because biologically we have 10 fingers. That's how we count. We use our 10 fingers to count so that basically our brain is being trained to calculate numbers in batches of 10 because of this biological limitation. We call this representation of number in batches of 10 as with the number of system of, with a base of 10. But this is not the only way to represent number. We can arrange the items in other forms such as in batches of 2. So the 237 items can be arranged like this. It is in batches of two. So it can be rewritten as 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1 equals to 237. Or it can be rewritten as follow. 1 times 2 to the 7 plus 1 times 2 to the 6 plus 1 times 2 to the 5 plus 1 times 2 to the 3 plus 1 times 2 to the 2 plus 1 times 2 to the 0. So the decimal number 237 can be converted into a binary number 11101101. We refer the number of different digits to represent a number as the base of a number system. The number system that we've been using, the decimal system, is having a base of 10 because we are using 10 different digits to represent the number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. In the binary number system, we only use two different digits to represent a number 0 and 1. So we are saying that the binary system is having a base of 2. There exist other number systems such as the base of 16. In the hexadecimal number system, we use 16 different digits to represent a number. From 0 to 9 and then A, B, C, D, E and F. This is an example of using the number system with the base of 5. Here, we are arranging 
237 in batches of five. So the, num the decimal number 237 can be converted into the base of five as the number of 1421. So how do you convert a number in various different kind of base into a decimal number? Let's consider the following two examples. In the first example, we have a hexadecimal number 317. How do you convert this hexadecimal number 317 into a decimal number? We can express the 317 in the base of 16 in the following formula, 3 times the 16 to the power of 2 plus 1 times 16 to the power of 1 plus 7 times 16 to the power of 0. And then you just add them up the results and you will have a decimal number of 791. So the hexadecimal number of 317 is equivalent to decimal value of 791. In the second example, we have an octal number in the, num in the base of 8, the value of 317. Okay. So you, once again, you express the, the octal number 317 into the form of 3 times 8 to the power of 2, plus 1 times 8 to the power of 1, plus 7 times 8 to the power of 0. And when you add up all the results, the octal number 317 is equivalent to a decimal number of 207. So how do you do the reverse? If you are given a decimal number, how do you convert it into a number with a base of 2? You can do it by successively divide the decimal number by the base until the result is zero. Here is an example. You are trying to convert a decimal value of 317 into a binary number. You, you can simply successively divide the number 317 by two until you reach the result as zero. And then you combine all the, rem all the remainder and then it will form a binary number. So the decimal number 317, 317 is equivalent to a binary number of 10011101. Here is another example. In this example, I'm trying to convert a decimal number 362 into the base of 7. By successively dividing 262 by 7, I have a remainder of 1025. So the decimal number of 362 is equivalent to the number in the base of 7 of 1025. So how do you convert a number from one base to another base? In this example, I'm trying to convert a number in the base of 16 to the base of 9. And we have a hexadecimal number, 94B7, in the base of 16. So this conversion involves a two-step procedure. I have to first convert a number from the base of 16 to base of 10, and then convert that number in the base of 10 to the base of 9. So the hexadecimal number 94B7 is equivalent to a decimal number 38,071, 38071. And the next step, I'm converting decimal number 38071 into a base of 9. And the result is 57201. So the hexadecimal number of 94B7 equals to the base of 9 of 57201. We don't usually encounter number in an arbitrary base such as a base of 9 or base of 7. And these are the most commonly used number system in the base of 10, which is a decimal number. Base of 2 is a binary number. 
base of 16, the hexadecimal number, and the base of 8, the octal number. For your interest, there is a programmer calculator in the Microsoft calculator. So you can put it up in any computer and then select a programmer calculator. And then you can do all these conversion by decimal from a decimal number to an octal number to a hexadecimal number and to a binary number. It's a very convenient way of doing all the conversion. Uh, for example, here you're converting the decimal number of 317 into hexadecimal octal number in a binary form. So this is the end of this flip class video. We'll come back in the lecture and see how you can use this binary system in representing number inside of the computer.